Here is the restaurant where we're eating. It's called Au Petit Comptoir. Avocado with artichoke and their little baby shrimp on top. Looks so good. And then my hubby and my friend are both having the fish tureen. Here is our main course. I got the fish and it's on a bed of pasta and vegetables. And my hubby and my friend got the sausage. And this is a pork sausage. Molten chocolate lava cake. Apparently these molten cakes are extremely popular here because often residents need a little pick-me-up due to the poor weather. And my friend is having a raspberry pudding. We are here at Lanson Winery. This is a champagne house. Here is the Rennes Cathedral. It is beautiful and the sun is shining, so that's always good. We'll take a look inside. This is our first evening in Rennes, and I am having the steak tartare. My friend is having breaded chicken with pasta. This is square. And he's having a burger. Good morning, everyone. So we are on our way to the vineyards. We're actually following Trung in his van up ahead, and we're just driving through this cute little town. I think we're going to be going to the vineyards of Vuvclico and a few other name brand champagnes, and then we're heading to a small producer, if I remember correctly. For this bacteria is very lazy. It takes by all it operates only with the heat. So she had to hit the bath house here with a temperature around uh, 70 Fahrenheit. So when it's sugar, you see. And here's not a short guy for tourists. Huh? She does it here every day. Yeah. Look carefully. She, you can do whatever you want in your country, huh? but she will show you the safest one. <laughs> Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on fait? So would you like a big pop or a whisper? Un soupir. Mm. Soupir. 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 So she controls just her cock and she twists slowly the bottom champagne and she maintains the cock with her. Oh! It is raining pretty consistently, so we'll have to see once we get there whether it still is, but I think it will be pretty regardless. Tagliatelle carbonara. It looks amazing. We mix it ourselves with the raw egg yolk. Oh, I'm just recording the video. Down into 
I don't turn to bushes, no matter what. So we just had a tour of Moet and Shandong, and it was really interesting. Really, a lot of information, and we got a tasting at the end, so that was great. And we are going to be heading out now. We're actually the last of our group that's in the cellars. So my hubby and I decided to make cutouts of truffle and Lulu, so they could come with us on the trip. Basically, they're just on these like little skinny popsicle sticks and it's their photos taped onto cardboard and then taped onto the sticks. So we've been taking photos with them and we can walk out together now. sur Osoren and again this is where Chocolat was filmed we're gonna explore later for now we're going to the Annas factory and this is where it is so we're just gonna look for the entrance I'm gonna show you my outfit really quick. I just have on this crop top from American Apparel, and then I have my maxi skirt. This is like a convertible skirt slash dress that I got, I think I got this at the CNE. I have on my walking shoes. These are my Crocs that I wear every day, and I've been wearing them pretty much exclusively this vacation. I haven't worn anything else on my feet. And then I have my leather jacket from Chicago. I have this scarf that my husband bought for me, and I have my city bag. Here we are at the morning market on San Antoine. A whole bunch of different food vendors, flower vendors, cheese. And this is a morning market that happens pretty much every single morning. the Dijon market. Lots of stuff to see. The covered market is there in the distance. I don't know if you can tell because it's a bit blown out but it's that metal building right over here. So we are now inside the covered portion of the market and this is all food and goodies. It's very similar I guess to the St. Lawrence market but it's bigger. are some macarons. They are my favorite and in France they sell the big ones as well. I don't know. 
We're gonna leave you now. So here we are in Annecy. This is the old part of town. It's gorgeous. There are these beautiful canals. There are really two main canals, but there are a few offshoots here and there, and this is one of the offshoots. The light is reflecting off the water beautifully, and it's just very romantic. Here we are in Le Puy en Valais. We are going to be hiking up 268 stone steps to the Chapelle Saint Michel, which is up at the top of this rock. We are about halfway up the steps, and you can see the shadow of the Chapelle Saint Michel here. So here's the view from Chapelle Saint Michel. She's looking already. She put it in her mouth and then she went like this and she gave it. Yeah. Well, there's one. Pretty close to the surface. <laughs> it's amazing that they don't eat them. Uh -huh, that's the one she had in her mouth. Here we are at Les Alles de Lyon and this is different from what I expected because the other covered markets have been kind of open vendors. This one is like all individual stores just laid out one beside the other so that's kind of neat. So we're gonna go aisle by aisle and take a look at everything. <laughs> Hey everyone, so we are having our last dinner in Lyon and we are at a Michelin three-star restaurant. This is Paul Bocuse. Really excited to see what it's like. The restaurant itself is a little bit gaudy and I'll show you what I mean when we turn the corner here. There's a lot of like painting on it, a lot of different colors and such. So let me just show you once I get up these stairs. So here is what the restaurant looks like. Here 
here is the cheese course that is served with the prefix menu. It's basically all these cheeses and you get to choose which one or ones you would like. So here are the three cheeses I chose. I chose a fresh goat cheese, which is this one here. This is a Roblochon and this is made in the French Alps. This cheese is called saint Marcelin. So they are bringing our dessert course. Basically, we can choose from all of these desserts. So I ended up choosing a poached pear with the sorbet, and then I also got the floating island. So we are here at Galleries Lafayette, and we purchased five macarons to share. This one is Gen Matcha. It's basically green tea with rice crisps. This one is Cassis. My hubby is working on the Earl Grey. And we also ate another two already. One looked similar to this one. It was wasabi and it was delicious. And the other one was yuzu. And that one was good too. But they're gone. 